Hello, Bishop Wooden here. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. You know, I really feel like singing today. I really feel like singing, and you know that I'm saved, and I'm sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, and I'm fire, fire baptized. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited about the word. I prayed last night. I asked God, Lord, what are we going to talk about now? And the Lord has given me direction. And my friends, I'm excited about the pages of this book and the things that we are about to study. Oh, tonight I'm going to talk about being sagacious. I'm going to talk about the benefits of sweat equity. I'm going to talk about the definitiveness of the word of the Lord. I'm going to talk about our Lord Jesus Christ and you are going to be blessed. Now I want to invite everybody. First of all, let me back up a little bit. I want to thank the Philippians. The Philippians are a group of people in our church who have so dedicated themselves to praying for the pastor. They are supporters of the ministry. They support the pastor. They pray for me. They, they give uh, to help me. They are a reliable group of people, so named after the, the, the church at Philippi, which was a church that was incredibly generous to the Apostle Paul. And it was to the Philippians that the Lord said, My God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory. All of your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So thank God for the Philippians. And I pray that every pastor has Philippians in their ministry. And I want to say to the Philippians, I want you to know the Bible says, let him, he that is taught in the word communicate with him that teacheth. And be not deceived, God is not mocked for whatsoever a man sow, that shall he also reap. So great blessings are on your way for your commitment and your prayers and your support of yours truly. And we're going to be teaching tonight. Now I look forward to seeing every one of you. But all of the saints, all of the saints, all of the saints, come on out tonight and hear the word of the Lord. You'll be glad you did. Now let me say this. I was thinking today, you know we do this now every week and it's so easy to get caught up in the rut. So, oh, that's just pastor. He's just talking. Look, come to the house of God. Meet me tonight. We're going to study the word of the Lord together. And uh, you are going to be blessed. We're in a time where the Lord is doing amazing things. And you should be in a spirit of optimism. If you're not optimistic, hey, turn that news off or change the channel or stop talking to some of those negative people who just complain all the time. God is good. Life is good. None of us live life where everything is the way we want them to be all the time. But you got to know how to see through the clutter. You got to know how to see through the, the distractions and the dust and the, and the things that Satan throws at you. And see that we are kingdom heirs. We are the Lord's subjects we follow him and as we obey him and let his word be our constitution for life liberty and the pursuit of happiness as we are on our way to heaven and we allow the lord to use us lead us guide us and show us the way we will see that there is a reality to serving the god of the bible we're going to talk about some things tonight and uh, we're all going to be blessed according to the scriptures. I love you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And I will see you tonight here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ.